Jesse Wilcox Smith was an American illustrator who lived from September 6, 1863 to May 3, 1935 in Philadelphia, United States. Jesse Wilcox Smith was a prominent figure during the golden age of American illustration and was known for her contributions to the Romanticism, Impressionism, and Art Nouveau art movements. Her illustrations were primarily in the genre of illustration, and she was associated with the Brandywine School of Painting. Smith was recognized as one of the greatest pure illustrators for her ability to create intricate and detailed illustrations that brought stories to life. Over the course of her career, Jesse Wilcox Smith illustrated stories and articles for numerous publications, including Century, Collier's, Leslie's Weekly, Harper's, McClure's, Scribner's, and the Ladies' Home Journal. She also illustrated over 60 books, including Louisa May Alcott's Little Women and an Old Fashioned Girl, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's Evangeline, and Robert Louis Stevenson's A Child's Garden of Verses. Smith's work influenced future generations of illustrators, and she collaborated and befriended many of her talented co-workers in the industry. Jessie Wilcox Smith was born in Philadelphia in 1863, to a family with a father who was an investment broker and a mother who came from a socialite family. She attended private elementary schools before studying to become a teacher. However, the physical demands of working with children proved too strenuous for her due to her back problems. That's when she discovered her talent for drawing and started attending art classes. In 1888, at the age of 25, Three Little Maidens All in a Row, an illustration by Smith, was published in St. Nicholas Magazine. Smith had enrolled in the Philadelphia School of Design for Women, now known as Moore College of Art and Design, in 1884 or 1885, and subsequently, she attended the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts in Philadelphia under the supervision of Thomas Aikens and Thomas Anschutz. Smith's time at the Academy under Aikens' mentorship had a significant influence on her work, and it was then that she began using photography as a resource in her illustrations. Smith went on to work at the Ladies' Home Journal, where she illustrated a book of poetry new and true and was contributing artist to other publications. She enrolled in Saturday art classes at Drexel University taught by Howard Pyle, who had a significant impact on her career. Pyle's teachings pushed Smith and other artists of her generation to fight for their right to illustrate for major publishers, and many described him as gifted. She would later say that working with Pyle helped clarify her path as an art student. She continued to work as an illustrator for the Ladies' Home Journal until 1913, eventually becoming one of the most well-known illustrators of her time. Smith's illustrations often centered around children and family life, and she was considered a pioneer of children's book illustration. Her illustrations were characterized by a sense of warmth, tenderness, and domesticity. The resurgence of book design in England, along with the improving color printing processes, made children's book illustration not only possible but also financially viable for women artists at the time. Even today, her illustrations continue to be cherished by many people. Jessie Wilcox Smith passed away in 1935, leaving behind a legacy in the world of art and illustrating, which has influenced countless artists, writers, and illustrators. In conclusion, Jessie Wilcox Smith was a talented American illustrator who rose to prominence during the golden age of American illustration. Smith was known for her intricate and detailed illustrations that brought stories to life, and her contributions to the Romanticism, Impressionism, and Art Nouveau art movements. Her work primarily focused on children and family life, characterized by warmth, tenderness, and domesticity. Jesse Wilcox Smith illustrated over 60 books, including Louisa May Alcott's Little Women and an Old Fashioned Girl, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's Evangeline, and Robert Louis Stevenson's A Child's Garden of Verses. Smith's legacy is enduring, having influenced countless artists, writers, and illustrators in the art world, and her illustrations continue to be cherished by many people today.